Hey guys, this is another interesting episode of Johnny and Jimmy at the movies. So let me first introduce myself. I'm Jimmy Rodriguez and I'm going to be reviewing this awesome movie called Paranorman to not get confused with Paranormal Activity. It's a horror flick but it's done in a totally different um, fashion. Uh, for starters, this movie is done by a stop motion type animation combined with 3D effects so the movie has a pretty awesome uh, appeal to it. And of course, before I start talking about what the movie is about, without giving too much spoilers, um, of course, there are the cast of characters, which we have the main character, which is Norman, which is a kid that can vision the dead as he walks along throughout his the entire town, and he could also envision his dead grandmother. Of course, he has his mom, his dad, his annoying baddie girlish, you know, sister, teenage sister, and then of course. In the movie, there's the body that would bother him later on in the movie. There would be a fat kid. There would be a jock that's also included in the film. So, it, it kind of goes on and on. Basically, the movie is about Norman having this vision. They could view the dead, you know, and nobody else can do that. So, of course, he gets ridiculed. He gets bullied a lot in school by a particular body. So, um, you could imagine he would have a lot of problems. Of course, there's the fat kid in school that also gets bullied, so he knows what it feels like to be, you know, bullied. So, uh, they became friends and they have that thing in common. Um, when Norman revealed to the fat kid, Neil, that's his name, that he can see, like, the dead, including, like, his grandmother had passed away, like, many years ago. Uh, he found that interesting and then he would invite him to his backyard and he would vision his dog that passed away and you know it's just like a series of events that shows that uh, Neil has a admiration for Norman. So um, that goes on. Then the most embarrassing thing happened to him in front of a school play. He was in a school play that's basically about the town's history of how they um, eliminated witchcraft. Um, witchcrafting so um, in that time he had this huge vision all of a sudden all these zombie ish looking people are haunting him in front of the stage and everything and of course nobody else sees that so of course when all that happens then he like uh, make a big scene out of it you know he's just ah, whatever so of course the parents ground him so it just leads to more embarrassing situations to not get too much spoilers um, one of his um, old uncle that also passed away have told him that in, that in order to like eliminate all this stuff all this stuff that's hunting him down throughout his days like to eliminate that in total he would have to find a special book that would be the only way where he could get rid of all this madness and eventually hopefully he can get back to his normal life now, of course, I don't want to give too much spoilers, too much details, because then it would defeat the purpose of you guys uh, going to the theaters to watch it in theaters. And, of course, there's Wikipedia for all the information, to be honest. Uh, but, wow, I'm pretty uh, amazed about this movie. This is pretty um, awesome. It's interesting. The art looks awesome. I like how they use the still motion combined with the 3D effects. It looks really good. It, it beats any Pixar movie, I think, in that aspect. And storytelling-wise, it's very, um, again, I would have to say that this movie is very relatable because you would have the nerd, you would have the popular girl, you would have the jock, you would have the body, you would have the parents, and it's like all these people act as realistic as possible in that given situation and of course since the movie is rated PG it does have a little bit of sexual intuendo here and there which is kind of surprising because it's still an animated film and it's still, a kind of, it's still the kind of movie you would like as a parent take your kids to watch so it's okay I mean it's not that bad I mean you've seen worse things on TV anyways and it's rated PG so it's, it's still done in a very tasteful manner so it's you know Really not that bad, you know, compared to what you see nowadays on TV. But um, I would say that this movie is pretty awesome. I would recommend everybody to see it. And this is a very top-notch movie. It surpasses any, uh, I would say, Pixar films. It would surpass any animation film to this day. So just go to the theaters, watch it, check it out. 
And um, I really give my two thumbs up for this type of movie. And uh, Jimmy also enjoyed the movie, and he also totally agrees how awesome the storytelling is in this film. And it's just like, he said that if it weren't for the adventures, and I guess Batman in a certain way, you know, The Dark Knight Rises, this would be one of the best movies to watch uh, for this summer or whatever. So, uh, this is Johnny Rodriguez. I'm going to be signing off. I really don't want to give too much spoilers because this, this is the kind of movie that just go there and watch it and you will have fun and you will enjoy it. And of course, um, it's, this is movies available in every movie theater they have in town. And let me tell you something, guys. It was really hot out there. So, after the movies, me and Jimmy, we had to uh, grab a couple of pizzas and a couple of, no, not cold ones, but uh, like cold sodas just to refresh ourselves because it, it really was a hot day out there. I mean, he was really sweating a lot and so was I earlier in the day. So um, that's it for now, guys. Uh, watch it. Paranormal is the best movie to watch. So um, this is Johnny Rodriguez and I'm signing off.